some big cuts in TV news are going to have a serious effect on Global Okanagan and the people who appreciate the news coverage they get from there. Chorus, the parent company, is making major reductions in staff. So it means about 12 jobs lost, including perhaps an engineer or a salesperson, about eight jobs remaining. They will be assigned and have news directors in Vancouver that will oversee their operations. Their material then goes to Vancouver where there will be a pre-recorded Monday to Friday Okanagan newscast. Today I'm speaking as a former employee of the TV station and a citizen of the Okanagan, not as a city councillor. Seeing this hack like this is tragic. Tragic, tragic. Not good for our region at all. We lose our identity. We lose a key um, media outlet. And now it will be relying on um, news from other parts of the province. And the people that remain will be, you know, assigned their stories from a desk in Vancouver. Who has a, a person, they'll be assigned stories by a person who has no feel for this community, no knowledge of the in-depth value, ethics, and uh, belief of this community. And look who's walking over, Rick Weber. Hello, Rick. Who also worked at CHBC My back in the day. Here? Is yeah, that why what not? <laughs> <laughs> but Rick, first your reaction to um, what's happening uh, with Global, reduced to some stringers and a pre-recorded newscast by an anchor in Vancouver. That's right, it'll be, I'm, I'm hearing it's going to be down to maybe six, seven people left, maybe eight in, in, employed by Global in the Okanagan, and no more cast, newscasts being anchored out of Kelowna, right? They'll be recorded by, in an automated fashion by uh, anchors in Vancouver. So it's, it's kind of a pretend local newscast, you might say, right? The three of us, we all have a connection to the past there, but uh, for people who don't, uh, should they also be worried about this? Is something really important being lost? Well, I, I, of course, I think so. Uh, uh, you know, I know the market has changed over the years. I know a, a lot of people now turn to the internet to see their news. But in terms of the kind of format that that the television station provides, full packages on what's going on, it's a different kind of, of reporting. And there's a major, there's still quite a large audience for it. There, you know, from we're seeing on, on Facebook, there's a lot of people who w watch it every day. And, and it, I think it's still a needed and could be profitable business if it wasn't tied up in a company that's trying to avoid bankruptcy. I know there have been lots of chatter on this topic, but Mohini, do you believe that there's some way to create some kind of society that could resurrect a full TV station? Kent, a similar thing happened several years ago in Victoria. The community came together, the business community came together, and the employees came together, and the union put in money and bought the company. Today, that company is doing very well. They're all getting dividends. Why can't we do it here? You share her enthusiasm? Well, I'm not going to say it would be easy, that's for sure, but Czech is a model that could be looked at for sure. It was very shaky at first that the employees and some staff, some community members could get together and run a TV station and make it profitable when global at the time couldn't but it works it's worked and they're still there they're producing news their staff is growing it is possible if the community if the community got behind it it's a fabulous uh, they have fabulous local programming as well yeah. so um it is possible it is doable i have been in touch with czech to see if their model can be replicated here but kent we need the community to get behind this idea we need the business community to get behind this idea because having our own TV station gives us our identity. I mean, we have the 10th busiest airport in Canada here. We have such a robust tourism industry. We have so much, we have a university here. We have so much going for Kelowna. We are the fastest growing municipality in the country. We need to have our own TV station that reflects the values of this community.